quick note. This list is not going to show you the most OP or banned heroes right now. Instead, I'm going to show you the heroes that are in my opinion your best bet to main in this season to rank up. That means that they are going to be strong the whole season no matter how the meta is going to change. Also, this hero shouldn't land on the top of the band section anytime soon. So the time you spend training them to perfection is really worth it. Now that we are done with that, let me quickly say my usual Hello my friends! And start with number 1. Tigreal. First we talk about the few heroes you can use when you have to play the roam role. Almost every player have Tigreal and he's a very good tank even when you're not that experienced with playing a tank. Basically, you only have to catch the enemy's most dangerous hero and stun them for so long that your teammates can beat them down without any backfire. This is what makes him such a great tank in solo queue. Even when your teammates run around like headless chickens, you can basically push the enemies directly in front of them so that they only need to pick them up. And if your teammates are not even able to do that, well, you're doomed anyway, no matter which hero you play. Another super important thing I want to mention are bushes. They are your best friend and you should always use them to set the perfect ambush for the enemy. You can also use them very well to invade the enemy's jungle directly on level 1. Level up your second skill first and push the buff out of the circle to reset it. And afterwards, run. Generally, you should roam around a lot with him to play out his strength on the whole map and avoid just babysitting the new Blayla on the gold lane 24-7. Roaming around with your mage and jungler together is much more promising. By the way, I'm preparing a huge rank up guide where I'm explaining you everything you need to know to rank up in this season. And with everything, I mean everything. If you don't want to miss this guide, make sure to subscribe. Also, I've put a link to a very good gameplay or guide for every hero in the description. So you can check out the heroes further after you're done with this video. Now, I also want to mention his weaknesses because you have to be aware of them to play any hero properly. He's not the most tankiest tank you can have. Once you use all your skills and they're on cooldown, you're kinda becoming a sitting duck and the enemy can kill you quite easily. The cooldown of his skills are also very long, so usually you should use your skills and back off a bit afterwards. Also, you're going to have problems with high mobility heroes because they can dodge your skills easily and heroes with CC immunity or removal skills are a problem as well, for obvious reasons. Purify counters you as well. Now, let's get to number 2. Kufra. He's another tank with super strong CC abilities. When you're playing with randoms, these two tanks with almost endless CC abilities are your best bet in my opinion. He requires a bit more training than Tigreal though. You need a good aiming to land his first skill, so I would definitely recommend to train it in classic before using him in rank. Otherwise, you can use him perfectly against heroes with blink skills. When you use your second skill, Bouncing Ball, and the enemy is using a blink skill, they will be stopped and knock up shortly. Unfortunately, he also has similar weaknesses like Tigreal. Unless you use his second skill, which increases your defense, he's quite easy to kill and also a sitting duck without any skills available. His cooldowns are also quite long. Another thing is, when you engage with your first skill and miss, it can become very really tricky for you. That's why again, train that before you use him in rank. Now to number 3. Jawhead. He's a great hero because he's so versatile. You can use him on the side lane, as a Roma, or even in the jungle. If you main him, you can play him almost in every game, which is awesome. As Roma, you can use him to reset the enemy's buff with your second skill quite easily. As a side laner, you can use his strength as an early game hero and dominate many other side lane heroes. He's in general strong against almost any hero in a 1v1 situation. Last is jungler. You can clear the jungle relatively fast and with your second skill, you can roam around the map really fast to gain the control of the lanes. If you're trained enough with him, you can also easily target the enemy's biggest threat with him. Now his weaknesses. As mentioned, he's an early game hero. That means that he's super strong in the early game but falls off the cliff heavily in the late game. His damage is not the biggest problem here though. The fact that the whole enemy team stays together makes it really difficult for him to target the right enemy. The fact that the whole enemy team stays together makes it really difficult for him to target the right enemy. Also, when it comes to the enemy's base, he's having quite a hard time. So really, focus on finishing the game fast. Now, we have number 4. Uranus. Everyone who laughed now is a dirty boy. Although he is a tank, I would not recommend using him as a Roma. He doesn't have any CC skills and cannot initiate any team fight. He's way better on the side lane. Due to his regen abilities, he can defend his lane quite well, without the need to recall. 
You may not be able to kill your counterpart with him, but that's unnecessary anyway. You hold your lane and wait until your team rotates to your lane. If they doesn't, well, then not. Then you keep your tower alive and keep farming. Once you've built your first core items, namely Enchanted Talisman and Oracle, you're becoming very difficult to stop, because firstly, your cooldowns are very low, what means you can spam them around quickly, and secondly, with the extra regen from Oracle, you're becoming tanky AF. Just make sure to keep his regen stacks from his passive up. Let yourself being attacked from jungle creeps, minions, or even take a turret shot to keep them up, if you're going to need high stacks soon. Now to his weaknesses. anti heal items are of course a nightmare for him, so make sure to check out the enemy's build and see if one of them have built one. He's also quite mana hungry, especially once you can spam around his skills. So make sure to manage his mana properly, so you're not running out of it in a gank. Also the fact that he doesn't have a hard CC skill is not ideal, but not a deal breaker either. Next is number 5. Ruby. She's super fun to play and a very good pick on the side lane. You can also play her as a roamer, although I would prefer to use the already mentioned heroes for it. With her skill set, you have many CC abilities at your hand, which is always a nice thing to have, because you can focus them on the most dangerous enemies. A tank with a lot of CC abilities, in combination with Ruby, can be an absolute nightmare for the enemy. All of her skills are also AoE skills, so you can easily damage multiple enemies with her. What also makes her strong is her regen ability. Just be aware that all of her regen comes from her skills, because her passive converts all physical lifesteal into spell vamp. Building lifesteal items is a must for her. Her weaknesses are obviously anti-heal items, as well as burst damage heroes. Although she can survive very long in a fight when spamming around her skills, when someone just bursts her down before she can even use a skill, it's pretty fast over. Also, you shouldn't go up against a long range hero on your lane. You can get poked too easily, and there's not much you can do against it. Next, we have number 6. Balmond. According to Reddit, he's the best waifu we have in Mobile Legends. So if you simp for a heavily packed orc, well, here you go. He's quite simple to play, what makes him a good option as a secondary hero if you have to adjust. He's dealing a lot of damage with his Beyblade skill and can hammer down any low enemy easily. His regen ability lets him survive very long from the mid game on and you can use this to solo push because even when multiple enemies show up, you can survive it. His weaknesses is also anti heal items as well as being poked from long range heroes. High mobility heroes are also a big problem for him because he's having a really hard time catching them. Next, we have number 7. Benedetta. Little disclaimer, she's quite hard to master, but once you've done this, you can go up against any hero on the side lane. With the endless blink skills, you can easily catch the enemy and also use it for fast rotation if you need to. Her second skill gives you a free prior Her second skill gives you a free purify if you use it at the right timing and also stuns the enemy while doing so. With your ult, you can easily reach the enemy's backline in a gank or use it to escape difficult situations. The only thing she really lacks are hard CC skills, but if she would have one, her bun rate would be 100%. Now as I mentioned, she's not easy to play and if you want to use her, you should focus on mastering her and have a few spare heroes to play if you need to adjust. Also, a single botch skill will lead to an unnecessary death, so you gotta be really careful when using her. Next is number 8. Ranger. I would use him purely in the jungle. Unlikely for a marksman, he's strong in the early game, but falls off a bit in the late game. Also his rotation potential is completely wasted on the side lane. With him, you basically start to clear the jungle and start to cause trouble on all lanes once you're level 4. My go to rotation is buff, leave the wanderer, other buff and small camp. Then you're level 4 and can start the first gank on the side lane you rotated to and can start to push after a hopefully successful gank. Always keep rotating and take as many objectives as you can ASAP. While doing it, you started to become so fat that you're becoming an almost unstoppable force. Well, almost. You're still very vulnerable to CC skills and heroes with high burst damage, so never feel like the unkillable god of the battlefield, because this can backfire at you. Next, we have number 9. Roger. What makes him so special is of course that you have melee and ranged attacks. That gives you a very nice vari vari variety. That gives you a very nice variety to play him. His rotation is also very good, what lets you be present all around the map. You also have immunity skill in your wall form and a good escape skill in human form. He can also chase down enemies. He, he can also chase down enemies' heroes due to his higher movement speed in wall form when a low enemy is nearby. Although that all sounds great, 
you need some time to adjust to his playstyle. You need to use the right skills at the right time. Otherwise, you will run into problems. Also, you're not having one hard hitting ultimate. What is a big difference to most other heroes. Next we have number 10. Lee Sun Jin. Firstly, what makes him great is his CC immunity he has from his first skill. If you time it right, the enemy has no chance catching you. With his ultimate, you can also give your team a legal map hack. What can be a huge advantage when timed right. Don't just spam it once it's available. When a gank is happening, use it to further deal damage to the enemy or when you're going for a push to see where the enemies are. Even when you're not around for a gank, you can use it to support your allies. What you need to master as well is his melee and range basic attacks. When you push for example it's much faster if you make one melee basic attack followed by a range attack and back to the melee one. Like this, you can destroy a turret pretty fast. His weakness is though that he's very vulnerable to ambushes because he's very squishy and his playstyle doesn't suit everyone. Next, we're going to the mage section. As number 11 we have... Vale. This we can make simple. He's a one shot mage who can burst down any enemy except tanks. But even to them, he can deal a huge amount of damage. If you love to camp in the bush and just wait for your prey to come around, he's your hero to go. Although, just camping in any bush will not help you. You need to camp in places where the enemy is actually showing up. The bush near the blue buff for example. His movement speed also increases dramatically after getting many kills or assists. What is super awesome when you just hit and run. Especially in the late game, he's a nightmare for many enemy heroes. Be aware that he has different skill modes. There you should find out for yourself what you like the most. Because all can be a viable option. His weaknesses is the same like all other mages without escape skill. He's squishy, once you're caught off guard or you're out of position, you will be most likely dead and escaping an ambush is only possible with a spell like flicker or purify. Enemies with CC immunity or removal skills as well as heroes who use purify will be a pain for you because they can escape you easily. Also, keep your eyes on the build of the enemy. If any of them build Athena shield for example. If they have, you need to trigger the passive of it first and burst down the enemies when the passive effect is on cooldown. Next is number 12. Farsaw. One thing that makes her such a great hero is her flying ability. That allows you to roam around the map very fast so you can be present on the whole map. Her ult is also super awesome because you can use it in so many different situations. Defend your turret, scare the enemies away when your team is taking an objective, catch heroes who are hiding under the turret or simply burst down the enemies with it in a gank. Another thing that is awesome is that she is not falling off the cliff at any point of the match. The only thing you must be aware of are mobile heroes who can reach you easily while you use your ult. Otherwise, she has the same weaknesses like Vale. Next is number 13. Kagura. Although many people hate her revamp apparently, I still believe that she is one of the best heroes you can pick for solo queue. She is still not the easiest hero to master, so same like with Benedetta, focus your effort on mastering her and have a few simple spare heroes if you need to adjust. If you mastered her, you can take down most enemy heroes in no time. She also has a CC remover skill which will save your butt many times. In general, a very good Kagura player don't need to fear many things. High mobility heroes are a problem for her, as well as tanky heroes like Esmeralda or Yuzong. By the way, two heroes that would have deserved a spot on this list as well. But I cannot take everyone in. Next is number 14. Cecilio. I've put him into this list because of his comeback abilities. As most of you know, the more stacks he has from his passive, the more damage he deals. That means the longer the game goes, the more deadly he becomes. Now, when your team is on the losing side, you simply have to try to stall the match for as long as possible. Because once the match passes minute 15 and you kept stacking up your stacks, one end of your first skill deals a massive amount of damage. So much that you can turn around the match basically alone. Which is great when your teammates are a bunch of dogs. But even in the early or mid game, he's by no means useless or anything. He also deals a decent amount of damage and is not the easiest to kill, thanks to his ult. But his weakness is still a team full of early game heroes. Because against them, he's still too weak in the early game. And also mobile heroes, because they can dodge your skill easily. Last, we have number 15. Eudora. She's another hero you can passively use as a simple spare hero if you need one. Her combo is super easy to execute and otherwise you just need to rotate properly, camp in the correct bushes and focus the right enemies. Don't try to blast the enemy's tank with full HP away please. Otherwise, it's the same like with Whale. Any CC removal or immunity sucks, you have no escape skill and you're squishy. But as long as you're careful and not enter any bushes mindlessly for example, you will have a fun time playing with her. Now you may have realized 
that I haven't included many marksmen, although they are getting heavily buffed right now. Well, my take on it is that the buffs will not change that much for them. In my opinion it will increase the pick rate of one shot heroes even more. And playing against a one shot hero on the gold lane is a wasted game, because you will not have a fun time unless the enemy is a complete noob. Then the tank have to be your babysitter and cannot help out anywhere else. Still, when the enemy doesn't have a one shot hero who can focus you, you can definitely pick a MM, just don't pick one as a first pick. Try to be the last pick so the enemy cannot counter you. The 5 most promising MMs in my opinion are One One, Beatrix, Irithyll, Kimmy and Claude. Now check out my item guide playlist. One super important thing that will increase your win rate massively is knowing how each item works. See you over there!